We can start. We're happy we can to start. start. Fire we away have, with anything you guys planned. want. All right. Anybody have any questions? We are here for you. You have a question. Okay. I'm going to put the mic on the stand and and you guys can line up if you want. But you you raised your hand first, so go for it. So I'm wondering here, did you guys like do Blitzwing? Like, like, why did you guys give him like the three personalities, like the crazy guy, the strategist guy, and the like oh, kind of brawler guy for animated Blitzwing? Um, well, the original idea, we didn't have a, I didn't, when I was doing the Bible, I didn't have a specific uh, Transformer in mind. I just liked the idea, I like transforming characters you know, crazy transforming characters like Beetlejuice and like the mask who could just turn into anything. So um, I pitched what turned out to be an animation nightmare, which is a transformer who could transform into literally anything. Mm. Um, and um, they dialed that back and say, well, we can't do that, but we like the whole kind of split personality thing and we, we might be able to do something with Blitzwing who's a triple changer. Um, so there was um, there was a character on uh, Ninja Turtles Fast Forward called Triple Threat that um, I didn't create, but I did write a script with him, and I loved the idea. It was this three-headed character that had three different personalities, and they were all very extreme. So I sort of cribbed that and put that into Blitzwing. Um, and um, as far as the the personality, really, we have to credit Bumper Robinson, the uh, the voice actor, because um, he got cast as Bumblebee, and I, I didn't know him, so I didn't know how versatile he was. Um, so we figured, well, Blitzwing is it's all these really extreme um, different personalities, so it, you know anybody should be able to handle that. And he came in and gave us the German accent, which was and hysterical, and it said, "Sold, we got it. This is Blitzwing." Yeah. So from a product Thank development you. from a product development side too, it's like while Marty was doing you know fleshing out the character and figuring out how he's going to act, I was kind of developing an idea alongside with what Derek wanted to do for a character design in the story, and I was uh, drawing a lot of uh, inspiration from the He-Man character Manny Faces, who, who's, right, whose right, head right, right. just spun around. I'm like, that would be cool to do a, as a Transformer. Like you know, what's our version? And then as Derek and I are having conversations. Marty's chiming in. Well, you know, like, what about the you know Blitzwing? Can we do this? And everything just kind of like came together very neatly while we were creating the product for him. Yeah, and, and that's actually a really good example of of how the um, the process worked on Transformers. It was very much on animated. It was very much a mind meld. Um, and Eric was based in Rhode Island, where Hasbro is, but they would fly him in, uh, you know, every yeah. uh, every so often, and we would have the big the big design um, and production mind meld and the we, mind we meld just, summit <laughs> you know we just basically hang out in the in the office at Cartoon Network and we'd go to lunch and we'd just uh, talk about you know what would you like to do what would you like yeah. to uh, it, uh, it, it's funny that that qualifies as work sometimes because we were just having fun having conversations goofing off you know just throwing ideas out in the air and seeing what what what, what kind of uh, made us feel what made us feel best about these characters yeah, and any time anyone asks, you know, where do the stories come from, I said, they all came from lunch. 